good morning children welcome back to the review class of evs have you seen the green green leaves they clean the air and cool the breeze have you seen the green green leaves they clean the air and cool the breeze today i have a surprise for you have you seen what is this yes it is a plant can you name the parts of this plant what is this this is root yes you are very good children what is this this is leaf and what is this this is flower isn't it so you know some parts of the plant but now we have to study the structure of this plant in detail are you all ready yes this this plant we can divide into two that is the part of the plant below the ground from here onwards the part of the plant below the ground is called root system and the part of the plant above the ground is called shoot system so structure of plant we can divide into two root system the part of the plant below the ground shoot system the part of the plant above the ground now let us study in detail so here you can see root isn't it there are two types of roots how many types two types tap root and fibrous root when you see some roots you can see middle there is a big root and from the big root there are minute roots are arising but in some other plants you can see threads like or fiber like roots so if you find a big root and small roots are arising from that big root such root is known as tap root and if you are seeing fibers like or thread like roots such root is known as fibrous root so there are two types of roots tap root and fibrous root now let us study the function of root root has three functions absorption fixation and storage what is absorption we eat food to get energy same way plant will absorb nutrients from the soil so this roots will absorb water and nutrients so first function of root is absorb nutrients and water second one is this root helps the plant to fix in the ground so second one is fixation have you seen carrots did you eat ah some of you won't like it it is a root so plant will store its food in the root so what are the functions of root absorption fixation storage so now we study root system now let us study shoot system what is shoot the part of the plant above the ground is known as shoot system what is this this is stem stem of the plant now let us study the function of stem so stem keep the plant erect keep it straight so that is the first function second function is it helps in the transportation of nutrients water and food transportation means moving things to different parts of the plants so stem keep the plant erect helps in transportation of water minerals and food third use is it stores food that is storage did you eat sugar cane yes that is the stem part so the functions of stem are 
storage transportation of food water and minerals and the next use is keep the plant upright now let us come to the leaf what is this leaf what is the color of this leaf can you see the leaf this is the flower and this is green leaf so this leaf is in green color due to chlorophyll what is chlorophyll so chlorophyll gives green color now let us study the beauty of leaf leaf will prepare food by taking water and minerals who will give water and minerals yes our root will give water and minerals stem will supply it to the leaf so leaf will prepare food by taking water and minerals carbon dioxide from the atmosphere in the air carbon dioxide is available so leaf will take the carbon dioxide and in presence of sunlight they prepare food so that process is known as photosynthesis photo photo means light so preparation of food by green leaves by green leaves yellow leaves can prepare why because green leaves contains chlorophyll so first function of leaf is leaves prepare food by photosynthesis so when you observe this leaf in microscope you can see very small opening so through that small opening air will pass that is carbon dioxide leaves will take and oxygen will give out so that small passage or small opening is known as stomata that is stomata so this stomata just like we have nose it will allow the air passage so trees will do transpiration when you sit during especially during summer season when you sit under trees you will feel cool isn't it because the, through the stomata of leaves water drops are transpired in the air so we feel cool so first function of leaf is photosynthesis second function of leaf is transpiration and you can have beautiful flowers here have you seen it yes what is the color of this flower pink color and have you seen this leaf ah you might have seen grass yes this is another type of leaf so when you see the leaves you observe the leaves some leaves are single that is simple leaves have you seen the leaf of neem tree it is a compound leaf simple leaf and compound leaf so i told you the function of stem function of root and function of leaf what are the functions of root absorption storage and fixation what is the function of stem transportation of food water and minerals it keeps the plant erect and third one is storage then what is the function of leaf photosynthesis and transpiration now let us study the types of plants when you look around you can find that some plants are very big some plants are very small so let us classify them into first one trees second one shrubs third one herbs fourth one climbers and fifth one creepers so what are trees trees are very big in size they have very hard stem we call it as trunk have you seen mango tree tamarind tree they have plenty of branches but what about coconut tree they don't have any branch palm and coconut tree so some trees have plenty of branches some don't have now second category shrubs 
shrubs are small plants but their stem is hard hard stem their stem is hard such plants are called shrubs you know some shrubs rose plant jasmine hibiscus they are examples of shrubs now let us study about herbs they are also small plants but their stem is soft soft stem example paddy mustard chilli when you see next time just press the stem so they are small plants and soft stem next we have climbers climbers have very lean stem they need always a support they want to climb others yes your favorite money plant pea plant beetle plant all these are examples of climbers and the next one is creepers creepers means they grow along the ground they grow along the ground melon pumpkin bottle gourd have you seen it did you eat it yes so they are creepers so what are the different types of plants trees shrubs herbs climbers and creepers total five types now we studied the structure and we studied the types now let us study the uses of plants without plant we can't live so first use is plants keep air fresh we are polluting the plants that means from the factories we are sending smokes from the vehicles who is purifying yes trees so trees will purify the air so first use of plant and important use of plant is plants give us fresh air what is the second use of plant yes you are right it gives food so plants give us food third use is they give us wood to make furnitures like chair bench door etc they give us fibers we studied yesterday about cotton cloths cotton we get from cotton plant same way linen also we will get from plant so we get fibers from the plant another important one your favorite one what is that paper we will prepare paper from wood pulp so we need plants to prepare paper what about oils coconut oil sunflower oil cooking oil all the cooking oils so plants give us oils and plants also give us perfumes can you name the plants yes jasmine jasmine rose plant from that we can prepare uh, perfumes and plants can you give one more example of plant or use of plant yes plants keep our surroundings clean so what are the uses of plants plants give us fresh air plants give us food plants give us oil plants give us fiber plants give us papers plants give us furnitures you can add more uses of plants will you do it will you find more uses yes now let us discuss about animals you have seen plenty of animals around you have you seen monkeys around your campus yes when you look at the animals some animals are small some animals are big some are living in water like fish crocodile whales some are living in the land tiger lion cow etc some animals we call them as insects can you name some insects yes ants 
ஆ மொஸ்கிட்டோஸ் ஹவுஸ் ஃப்ளை டர்மைட்ஸ் பட்டர்ஃப்ளைஸ் ஓல் தீஸ் ஆர் இன்செக்ட்ஸ் சம் ஆர் க்ரோலிங் ஆனிமல்ஸ் தே வில் க்ரோல் ஓன் த கிரவுண்ட் ஓ க்ரோல் ஓன் த வோல் கேன் யூ நேம் ஸ்னேக் ஸ்கோர்பியோன் லிசாட் ஸோ தே க்ரோல் ஓன் த கிரவுண்ட் ஹியர் நவ் வி ஹாவ் டு ஸ்டடி டூ டைப்ஸ் ஆஃப் ஆனிமல்ஸ் தட் ஆர் வைல்ட் ஆனிமல்ஸ் அண்ட் டொமஸ்டிக் ஆனிமல்ஸ் ஸோ வி கேன் கிளாசிஃபை ஆனிமல்ஸ் இன் டு டூ வைல்ட் ஆனிமல்ஸ் அண்ட் டொமஸ்டிக் ஆனிமல்ஸ் வைல்ட் ஆனிமல்ஸ் வில் லீவ் இன் ஃபாரஸ்ட் ஆ மோஸ்ட் ஆஃப் தம் ஆர் க்ரூவல் ஆனிமல்ஸ் ஸோ தே லீவ் இன் ஃபாரஸ்ட் பட் டொமஸ்டிக் ஆனிமல்ஸ் வி வில் க்ரோ தம் வை டூ வி க்ரோ தம் டு கெட் எஸ் மில்க் மீட் எக் ஃபார் ட்ரான்ஸ்போர்ட்டேஷன் ஹோல்ஸ் டோங்கி எக்ஸட்ரா வி வில் யூஸ் ஃபார் transportation and for entertainment so what are the uses of domestic animals they give us milk meat egg they help us in transportation they give us entertainment then what about dogs they guard our home so plenty of uses are there for domestic animals do you like them yes i know you will get milk yes so we like domestic animals and we grow them to get milk meat egg for transportation yes for entertainment now you are imagine that you are in our montessori classroom i am teaching you evs you are eagerly listening my class are you all really listening yes suddenly a snake comes what happens what happens yes some of you will cry some of you will run some of you will climb on the table and some will climb on the bench isn't it why do you do so yes you feel fear then what about the desk and bench why don't you they cry or climb or move ah you are correct you said it they don't have life we have a life so now we have to study the difference between living things and non living things you said me the properties of living things why because you told me you are feeling fear isn't it so we now we will study the properties of living things they will feel second one also you told you may run so living things will move living things will feel living things will move living things will grow will the table grow no so living things like us will grow living things will breathe we will take ah uh, air inside oxygen inside and carbon dioxide outside we will send through our nose so we will breathe living things will reproduce reproduce means they produce their younger ones have you seen the babies of monkeys have you seen the babies of tables no so only living things can produce young ones and living things can eat will the table eat will the duster eat will it eat no why because it is a non living things so what are the properties of living things living things will feel the living things will grow living things will move living things will breathe living things will reproduce and living things will eat now i have a question this is a plant is it a living thing or non living thing living thing why yes the plant will grow will it move ah when the wind blows it will move have you seen sunflower what is the speciality of sunflower 
yes it will change its direction as per the direction of sun so plant will move you can see in that case so plants all the plants are living things all the animals are living things isn't it now i will eat some chocolate if i give half of my chocolate to this toy will it eat no so is it a living thing or non living thing it is a non living thing what about me i am a living thing so what about this toy will it grow no will it reproduce will you get babies from him no so will it move it won't move you have to make it like this so let us sing a song are you all ready so that you can study easily the properties of living things are you all ready so see the board and sing with me living things move living things grow living things breathe living things reproduce and living things eat once again living things grow living things move living things breathe living things reproduce and living things eat so did you understand the difference between living things and non living things so here after the class you have to see different like when you go different places find out is it a living thing or non living thing so what are the properties of living thing i given you as a song you study it and dance with it but don't forget the first song what is that have you seen the green green leaves they clean the air and cool the breeze so to keep our surroundings what you have to do you have to plant many trees don't make any harm for the plants as a montessorian you should plant always many trees if you cut one tree plant 10 trees so will you are you following me did you understand yes don't forget the song don't forget to plant trees so when we see in the next class you should be more energetic so we will see you in the next class till then bye